a huge area that goes, we overlap it slightly in Thornton and Lincoln and Woodstock, and then it goes from there up to Canada. So he has this enormous area. It's the first time he's joined us, so I'm um, happy to introduce Jim. Thank you, I guess the important question here is anybody from Thornton? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pittsburgh in the north. Um, we've got a great slate of candidates here. Uh, top to bottom, the Democratic Party is, is strong, well organized. Uh, we've got to get our message out, but each of you have to get your friends out. Um, we're not running against Republicans. If we can get our Democrats out, we win. And that's what this election is all about. Um, so we've got to be careful half the day. We've got to motivate our people, and, and then we'll win. Kind of reminds me, I did a, a pie contest in my hometown to try to get a little attention. There was nobody running in my category. And um, I entered, but the last minute they pulled this young, thin woman out to run against me. And uh, we sat down, the pies went out. And uh, before I knew it, she had the pie down. She was done. And I had pie all over me, and I was disappointed, defeated, upset. And I turned in disgust, leaving my hometown with pie in my shirt, and the little kid says to his mother, I can't believe the fact I lost. <laughs> so, we need to get to work. And that's what you do, and that's what we do, and that's what these candidates do. Um, in the state senate, in the legislature, we have done some great work down there. We've been worked bipartisan, we've been independent, we have been practical, we were able to expand Medicaid, and in my part of the state, uh, there's a lot of people without health insurance who are living better today as a result. A lot of hospitals whose doors are open with may otherwise been shut. We've tried to expand minimum wage, and I need to tell you how important that is. We've also passed the gas tax, and I love it when the Republicans give us hell on that, because look at the gas prices today. They were saying, gold gas is going to go through the roof, and we know in rural areas there's a lot of roads, and we have a lot of DOT employment, employees, and we cannot shut off our northern and rural areas. We will never develop economics if we take that strategy. So we've done good work, but I want to tell you why I'm a Democrat. And I'm a Democrat because in my heart, in my experience, and everything about me is middle and lower class, and how we help those people. Now, I read a column for the Berlin Reporter where I, I look back at what has happened 54, 64, 74, every 10 years. So I get to watch this story unfold. We know the end. We know what happens to these communities, the old mill towns, which were vibrant towns, vibrant communities. But if you look and you ask yourself, in 1965, 1964, 50 years ago, all the great progress the Democratic Party, along with the Republicans, were able to make. Think about it. Think about that progress. 1964. Think about rights of women and their reproductive rights. Think about civil rights. Think about your ability to marry who you love. Think about how we treated our environment, dumping sewage into our rivers and the smell from our paper mills. Think about consumer laws. Think about that smoking, we weren't quite sure smoking was bad for you. Wouldn't take a stand on that. We can go on and on and on. I'm a teacher. Think about education. We really did a pretty good job for 10, 20 percent of the population. The rest were shown the door. We institutionalized people. People that are on the street, people that are useful citizens. Look at the great progress we made in 50 years. We did that, the Democratic Party. We should be proud of that. But who was left out? Whose life is worse today than it was in 1964? Children. Children, poor, we've done a good job with them. Lower middle class workers, their standard of living is lower today. On a, if, you, if you do the math out as to what a dollar could buy, their standard of living has gone down. That, we have failed that portion of the population, and that is the Democratic base. That's why I'm a Democrat, I'm sure it's why you're all Democrats. And that needs to be the focus. Minimum wage is important, but it's not the end. How do we build stability in our middle class? 
How do we build a middle class that can take a vacation, save for college, you know, be able to have the basic level of decency? You know, I just did a drive around the Berlin Police Department, and you see life different from that perspective. And now it's getting cold in Coloss County. And every fall, when it starts to get cold, we dump out of the of the campgrounds, and people go to couches. And I was on the phone this morning with someone who was on a couch of a friend. And these are the people who are living on the edge. There is no safety net. And these people who work hard every day, but even with their wages, they still qualify for different welfare programs. So let's make this our commitment as a Democratic Party. And I just want to close with one story. One of my favorite story is by Lyndon Johnson. He looked across and he saw a street person laying on the street. And he said to his aide, the difference between him and you and him and me is this much. I know that's my story. Imagine it's others too. That much. For me, it was an education. It was an opportunity. It was a safety net. But for those people that don't, that's our concern. And we know where the Republicans stand on this. So let this be the focus of the Democratic Party. Thank you for all you do. Victory is in your hands. When you're at the grocery store, you're at the bank, turn to the person behind you, turn to the person in front of you when they finish, tell them to vote Democrat. Thanks.